I spent five and a half years in prison, but the worst part was coming home and finding out Green Acres had been canceled. What the hell was I fighting for? Okay. See. President Bush has talked about our staying in Iraq for 50 years. Maybe 100. Just give us some time for it to succeed. The argument is, is really uh, almost insulting to one's intelligence to say how long we're in Iraq. I don't think Americans are concerned if we're there for 100 years or 1,000 years or 10,000. What I believe we can achieve is a reduction in casualties to the point where the Iraqis are doing the fighting and dying. I don't think we have any comment on it. I'm, I just want to make the statement that I have and always will be proud of my country. I have a lot of PTSD to treat, my friends. We're going to have a lot of combat wounds that have to do with these terrible explosive IEDs that, that inflict such severe wounds. We are going to pay a heavy price in the future when we face other threats because of the failures we experienced in Iraq. And I think we're going to be in a very dangerous world for a long time. If we were told he did not have biological chemical If frogs had wings, look, Tim, we can talk about lots of hypotheticals. He thinks we should be there for a hundred years if necessary. How can he commit the young people of this world five more generations to be in Iraq if it's necessary? I say it's yeah, time to come home. Senator McCain. Yes. Was the war a good idea worth the price in blood and treasure. It was a good idea. Paul, a question for one of your colleagues on stage. My, my question is for uh, Senator McCain. Um, this is an economic question that I want to ask. It has to do with the uh, President's Working Group on Financial Markets. I'd like to know what your opinion is of this and uh, whether you would keep it in place, what their role would be, if you or you would get rid of th this group. And if uh, you kept the group, um, would you uh, make sure we would see some sunlight and, and know what they're doing and how they're being involved in our markets? Well, obviously, like, we'd like to see more sunshine. How do we beat the bitch? I'm also very honored to be with my friend, the mayor of New York City the man who united America at a time of great tragedy, a man who gave us courage and hope. Don't you have any dignity? Now talking about a great future, this is the very reason why I am endorsing Senator McCain to be the next president of the United States. And he's a crusader, has a great vision. This is why I'm endorsing him be our next president of the United States. So let's hear from Senator McCain. Thank you very much. Senator McCain, uh, no matter what anyone may say, is a genuine conservative. Don McCain's a, a hero in this country. He's a hero to me. But if you look at his record, he's got a solid record on things that uh, really matter in pro-life. He's uh, strong for our country's defense and security. John McCain is a true, honest about American peace combination. I, I am uh, honored today to give my full support to Senator McCain's candidacy for the presidency of the United States. His character was forged in the crucible of war. His commitment to America is beyond any doubt. Congress can't fix the tax code, give me the job, and I'll fix it. I just want to also say that Congressman Paul, I've heard him now in many debates talking about bringing our troops home and about the war in Iraq and how it's failed. And uh, I want to tell you that that kind of isolationism, sir, is what caused World War II. We allowed... Hitler to come to power with that kind of attitude of isolationism and appeasement. Okay. I, want to, I want to tell you something.
something, sir. I just, I just finished having Thanksgiving with the troops. And their message to you is, the message of these brave men and women who are serving over there is, let us win. Let us win. We will, please, we will get to Iraq. Everybody, do have to allow Congressman Paul 30 seconds to respond. Absolutely. The uh, real question you have to ask uh, is, why do I get the most money from active duty officers, military personnel? So what John is saying is just totally distorted. He doesn't even understand the difference between non-intervention and isolationism. But most importantly, my country will have a candidate for president of the United States where I can uh, rest very assured for myself, for my children, and for all the people that we care about so much. But this is a man prepared to be president of the United States at a time of great peril. We share a similar vision for the future of our party, a similar vision of the major challenges facing our nation. We both believe that America must stay on offense to win the terrorist war on us. John McCain, the true conservative, ready to be commander-in-chief on day one. I'm John McCain.